So when you've been doing video editing for a while, you'll know that you sometimes get confronted with situations where you need to fill a whole timeline with limited amounts of footage. Now that doesn't happen all the time, but that can definitely happen. Or you might want to slow down one specific shot for drama. Now depending on the type of footage that you slow down, whether it's 60p or 30p or lower, that sometimes limits you to the amount that you can slow down footage. But DaVinci Resolve have a workaround where you can smooth that footage down to like summer temperature button. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So I've got a clip here on my timeline that was shot in 30p. When we play that back real time, you can see that it's nice and smooth, but sometimes you'll want to slow this clip down. Let's slow it down to say 50%. And when we slow it down to 50% because it's shot in 30p, you can now start seeing a clear uh, shutter that between frames where you can see it jumps from one frame to the next. And this is not ideal because it's, it's maybe not that bad, but it's not that great either. And so we want to smooth that out. And, the pro and sometimes we even want to slow this down more. So let's slow this down to say 30%. And when we play this back now, you can see there's a clear, very prominent shutter that we don't want when we slow down footage. Now, the workaround is simply this. We go to the inspector window in DaVinci Resolve and go to Retime and Scaling. Now, the default setting is your project settings, so whatever you've set your project to, but we want to set this to Optical Flow. When we choose optical flow, what this does is it actually creates frames in between your current frames so that your footage can play back smooth like butter. After we selected optical flow, this is what our footage will look like with optical flow activated. Look how smooth that is. Now you do see some artificial stuff going on on the footage, but this is much more acceptable than a shot that stutters from one frame to the next. Now, happy editing and please like and subscribe this video. If this helped you, this helps me. I appreciate that and see you next time.